If your video script is bad, you will have low retention and bad views. And in this video, I'll give you some tips to make your scripts better and your videos more interesting. The first thing you need to do when writing a script is to choose a format. There are really only two options, a full script and a short script. Short script provides a rough outline of the video and the main points you want to mention. A full script, on the other hand, consists of specific lines in a predetermined order. Each of the two options has its pros. A short script makes the video more organic and natural, which is useful for those of you who are not used to giving speeches. But if you've skipped your rhetorics classes, you can say something that will make editing a nightmare and the video insubstantial. For beginners, I recommend choosing a full script, at least at first. This way you will know what to say at every moment and editing will go much faster, but this approach will require a bit of acting from you. Now that we've decided on the format, let's move on to the basics of writing. Before you write the first line, answer the question, what is the value of your video? Only with the answer to this question, you can correctly write the introduction and plan the drama. The perfect introduction for a video should consist of two things, a problem and a solution. First, you need to present some kind of problem, preferably one that is familiar to every viewer. And after that, you need to make it clear that your video provides a simple solution. It is very important for anyone to understand that the time they spend watching the video will not go in vain, because the main idea of any video on YouTube is to provide value. If it's not there, then why would people watch your videos? Depending on the type of content, the problem and solution can be different. In educational content, such as in this channel, everything is pretty simple. First, I will introduce a known problem, and then we explain everything point by point throughout the video. But what about more entertaining content? It's the same thing, basically. How do you write an introduction for a video with the idea, I watched 100 movies with Leonardo DiCaprio. For the problem, we can use a short biography and the actor's achievements, his long journey to the Oscar and so on. One sentence for that. And as a solution, we can ask a question. Is this actor overrated? Does he deserve an Oscar? Sounds interesting, right? The introduction is the foundation of your video and it's what determines whether people will watch it. And if the viewer decides to continue watching, it's very important not to disappoint them. And this applies not only to the script, but but also to the editing. The video should look good and be easy to watch. Ideally, you would edit your video so that the editing matches the dynamics of the script. A more dynamic start with lots of effects and a slower, calmer ending. It sounds like something complicated, but it's not, especially when you're editing videos in the Movavi Video Editor. Movavi Video Editor offers a huge variety of cool video editing tools that can save you a ton of time. Background removal with artificial intelligence, easy. Noise removal in audio is there too. Smart tracking, automatic cutting, editing by beats, it's all there. In addition, hundreds of various effects, text animations, music, stickers, and so on. With the Movavi Video Editor, anyone can create a cool video in just a few minutes and just bring any creative idea to life in a finger snap. Use our dedicated software tools to edit photos and videos, capture your screen with mic or system audio, or convert bunches of files like it's nothing. Go for our all-in-one bundle, Movavi Unlimited, if you want it all. We prepared a mind-blowing 85% discount on Movavi Unlimited. There are so many cool things you can do with our apps and effects. So hurry up to grab your Movavi Unlimited plan. After you've written your introduction, it's time to think about the structure of your video. The most common structure for a video is argument one, evidence, argument two, evidence, argument three, and so on. But if we look at the most popular and viral videos, we can see that this order is often reversed. Instead, the visual evidence is presented first, followed by the context and argument. And this approach is more effective because it allows the viewer to feel the problem and its consequences before they understand the scale of the problem. And of course, this approach isn't always universal. In some types of videos, it's better to stick to the traditional dramatic structure, starting with the problem and then moving on to the solution. The key is to do it in a way that doesn't bore the viewer. I can see you starting to yawn right now. I'm being too boring. And that's not what you want to do. YouTube is first and foremost an entertainment platform. People come to YouTube to watch videos, not to listen to boring speeches. Keep it simple, easy to understand, and entertaining. 
and never be boring. Another important principle is to forget about the lists and listing things one by one. I know this doesn't always work and it may not be appropriate for videos that explain mathematical problems, for example, but for other videos, it's a great idea. Consistency and predictability is the worst thing that can happen. As soon as a viewer starts to guess what you're going to say next, they will just skip ahead to the part they're interested in. So don't list things. Forget the points, the sections, the structure. Focus on organic, natural, and associative storytelling. We want the viewer to feel like they're watching a small story. Of course, you can't completely do away with structure points, but you don't have to make the transition so obvious. Point number one, conclusion. Now let's move on to point number two. That's boring and cliche. It's much more effective and interesting to disguise the transition as useful information or context. When reviewing a phone, instead of saying, and what about the battery? You could say, taking pictures with this phone is a real pleasure for me. Once I spent three days just walking around taking pictures. And what I was most impressed with was that I barely had to charge the phone. See how much more organic and interesting the transition is. It's seamless, informative, and engaging. No matter what type of video you're making, always try to write your script in a way that minimizes unnecessary filler talk. The information should flow constantly, like a river. No time to rest until the very end. How you write the ending is a whole other story, but that's not what we're talking about right now. I haven't told you how to write the whole central part yet. If you've been paying attention up to this point, you already understand the basics. You understand that you can't escape the point-based structure and you need to smooth out the transitions. What you don't know is how to keep the momentum going. In the main part of the script, we actually provide the solution that we talked about at the beginning, but we do it gradually. We leave the most interesting part for later. We start with the basics and gradually make things more complex. And here it is very important to keep the momentum going. Try to write in a way that the pace of the video and the pace of the narrative are constantly increasing. But do this not for the speed of narration, but for the value of the information. For example, you give a bit of simple and understandable information and then add some useful stuff to it. Then take a step back again, slightly reduce the momentum, and then give simple and understandable information again. After that, say something very useful again, but a little more than you did last time. This way, you will repeatedly increase the amount of useful information, and useful information is quite addictive. If you're making not educational content, but entertaining content, you do the same thing only with fun and jokes. You got the gist. This kind of dynamic of the narrative and information makes people watch from beginning to the very end. And the finale is obvious, quick, sharp, with a focus on the future. You don't need to spread the final idea like butter and a piece of bread. Say the thing, say your goodbyes, fade to black. Your videos, even though they're separate stories, should have the potential for continuous viewing. It makes a lot of sense to send the viewer to watch another relevant video in the last few lines, and this combined with a quick ending will allow you to maintain the momentum and instantly transfer the viewer's attention to new and interesting videos. And one more thing, if you're making entertainment content, you need to end the video on a high note. As soon as the emotions reach a peak for the viewer, it's time to end. If after that you repeat or drag on, the positive impression will be lost and your video will not be remembered. Creating this good impression starts with a search for an idea. So hurry up and watch our previous video where I talk in detail about how to find the best ideas. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.